we are living through a renaissance in manufacturing where incredible changes have been afoot, driven by new software, new hardware, giving efficiencies and productivity that were really unimaginable even 10 years ago. At the same time, the more we learn about biology, the more appreciation we have that the greatest manufacturer of all is actually life. And that in the not too distant future, as biobots will share with us, that building with life is going to be a lot more common than you may think. And you might be surprised at how close that future is today. So please welcome biobots. So, yeah. Hi guys, I'm Danny, I'm the founder of Biobots. We sell the tools that let you build with life. And now, what do I mean by that? 20 years from now, patients with kidney failure, lung cancer, cirrhosis, and other organ failures are gonna have the option of receiving custom implantable organs built on 3D bioprinters and constructed out of their own cells. Now, this future is actually closer than you realize. Already, scientists on the cutting edge are printing and implanting simple organs, like skin, tracheas, and even bladders. But beyond this implantable organ, um, the, the biotech industry is actually already beginning to take advantage of this technology by replacing cumbersome animal drug testing with high-throughput screening of new compounds and biologics. These agents can now be tested against miniature organs built out of real human cells. Although this, this technology is amazing and the tools that exist for doing this, these first generation devices have really shown us the promise of the field, today they're holding back the revolution. And I want you guys to take a moment and, and think back to, to the dawn of computing and computers like ENIAC. It's taken over 60 years to get to a smartphone that fits in your pocket but it's simply not gonna take that long in biology. Existing devices for building with life aren't that much different than ENIAC. They have a huge footprint, taking up the size of a room. They're incredibly expensive, ranging between $100,000 and $250,000. And they're, they require countless hours of trial and error to get them to work. The equivalent of having to mix your own ink on your inkjet printer, controlling the temperature of the device, or even changing out the different nozzles. In other words, this technology is only accessible and usable by highly trained technicians. Our co-founder, Ricardo, is one of these specially trained technicians. He spent the last two years apprenticing himself for one of the scientists at the cutting edge. He's learned all the deep, dark secrets of what works and what doesn't, figured out where the limitations live and how to remove them. He actually started building the next generation device in his dorm room and enlisted my help. I studied computer science and biology at Penn, where I specialized in simplifying genetic engineering. And together, we've built something pretty incredible. We've created a desktop 3D bioprinter that's unleashing the biological revolution. Now, beyond the small footprint, we have two key innovations. The first is that we've developed a new process for building with life that allows us to build much more complex structures. And the second, this is key, is we've developed an easy-to-use cartridge system, similar to inkjet printers, that literally places no limitations on the range of biomaterials. This is what our device looks like in action. In this video, we're creating a, an ear out of a cartilage-like material. As you can see, there aren't any limitations beyond your imagination. Um, we're going to have some samples outside, so you guys can definitely come by and play with those later. The best part about this is that the technology is currently priced at $5,000. This is down from the quarter million dollar devices that I showed you guys earlier. Um, there are, these this up on the screen is actually a next generation device that's, gonna, that's coming with a disposable cartridge. It comes pre-filled with our literally secret sauce biomaterial. It, uh, it allows users to plug and print on the spot. These cartridges are gonna be priced at $600, and they last a month. Now, unsurprisingly, our early adopters are researchers on the cutting edge of tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. They're people like Dr. Kevin Costa, who are figuring out how to print living heart tissues. And they're taking the first steps towards fully functioning hearts right on our devices. Others, like Dr. Dan Ha, are using our technology 
to develop the next generation of miniature organs. These devices can be used for high throughput screening for, uh, of, of new drug compounds. And we're working to, to begin, and we're working to sell these devices over to the pharmaceutical industry to take their technology in-house. If, um, if you guys know anybody in that space, we'd love warm introductions. And before I change slides, please read the quote. It's pretty great. Continuous printing. That's what we like to see. So as you can see, Biobots has really left the realm of science fiction. We have real customers and an amazing product. Over the next 12 months, we're planning to greatly scale our sales efforts, finalize our cartridge designs, and release the next generation version. In other words, the next 12 months are huge. If you'd like to join our seed round, we'd love to talk to you. Please come find us. We'd really hate for you to miss this rocket ship before it takes off. So I just wanted to thank you guys all for, for joining us as we help create a future where custom organs are built and implanted on demand. We'll have a printer out on our booth, and we welcome you to come, build, heal, and discover with life.